Alright. There's two more uh, night expeditions to do. I'm going to assume that replaying a uh, a night expedition is not going to give me more glow sap because they are marking them as completed. So I'm assuming they're not repeatable for rewards. <sighs> Except maybe if you count glow seeds, I bet I could probably get more glow seeds if I do them. Build structures during the day to make night expeditions easier. I guess I've never really thought of that. Like, yeah, if you add more bridges, it'll be easier to get around. But won't that also make it easier for the enemies to get to me, too, if I build a bridge? Because I'm pretty sure I saw some of those leaf monsters using one of my bridges against me. Okay. Oh, I see one of those stupid blowhog things. Do you think I can kill it before it gets aggressive? That thing is scary. Even though it doesn't like, doesn't really do much damage. Ah, oh, there was a whole bunch of things that just spawned on it. Okay, let's head this way. There's another one up there. Welcome back, Yellow Pikmin. It's nighttime, and it's scary. Aww. Do you feel the fear? Leave the trick knoll alone. There's an enemy about to reach the regular one, isn't there? Ah, oh, it's you! <laughs> you are, you are scary, I, I won't lie. You do, you do derive fear in me. Hiya! And my joystick just dragged. Leave it alone! Good thing I don't get graded on my, like, protection. Like, if it takes damage, I don't get punished. It's only if it dies. Okay. Very spoopy. <laughs> they do make the music pretty demented. Oh, shit. I did not realize that there were creatures attacking. I thought they were farther. I'm not very good at playing defense. Alright. There's... Leaf guys going over there, too. The Trick is probably gonna die, but that's fine. that everybody okay very good well done team <laughs> In we can skip that it's, it's the same thing every time they don't seem like the time to make their games scary until you see pikmin i don't know if i would say that's true 
I think every once in a while they like to throw something like terrifying out there. The, the, I can't think of too many examples off the top of my head, but I can't. What I can think of is in Super Mario 64, a game that I grew up playing. Uh, there was uh, a haunted mansion level, and there was a piano. And when you got near the piano, it would come to life with these massive teeth and make this loud, clattering piano noise as it's trying to, to bite your head off. And I hated that thing. That thing terrified me. It was just unnaturally scary to me. <laughs> I feel like they like to throw a little scary thing every now and again. This one, this guy with the with the cat with the cat eyes. What an incredible discovery! Glow Pikmin, even when touched by fire or electricity, are fine. They can also go in water. It is useful. Oh, that's not all. Neither water nor poison bother them the least bit either. Well, that's it. We must train ourselves to be as strong as Glow Pikmin. If they can do it, we can too. Well, I'm pretty sure there's no amount of training that will make us impervious to fire. I'm already on day 18. It does not feel like it. I mean, if you count each of the of the night expeditions as an, a day, which the game does, that would take me down to day 13. All right, who dis? Do you have cat eyes? You do not have cat eyes, so I'm even more confused. Hi, Patch. A true gambler who revels in the game of life and leaves it all up to fate. He came to this planet with high hopes and high stakes. Amen. Our work doesn't end here. I'm sure if I went looking, I could probably find more examples of Nintendo horror. I'm sure that there are like YouTube videos of like top 10 scariest moments in uh, Nintendo games or something. I see, you're the one who saved me. Well, that means I still survived, so I won the battle between myself and this planet after all. I did get a little help from you, but it's not like that matters in a survival challenge where anything goes. Okay, then. There's an ongoing battle happening between you and this planet. A long-haul fight can make it hard to stay focused. Let's simplify and settle things once and for all. Hmm. How about this? You win if you defeat more than a hundred creatures indigenous to this planet. What's the meaning of such a challenge? Well, there is no meaning. Some challenges only have significance if they're meaningless. Yeah, Alright then. It's obvious that you possess great skill and are remarkably efficient. I have... I've killed a lot. I've killed over 300 creatures. <laughs> it's not a lot, but please accept those. I suppose you could call it a small reward. The piano is... That, that piano has haunted me. <laughs> He wants me to kill a thousand creatures. All right, I'll see you in like a year. All right, there should be one more night expedition. Let's do it. I mean, I'm sure that other Pikmin have had some pretty horrifying I, I, there has to be, oh, you know what's scary? I don't know if you've played a Pikmin 3, the, the final boss of Pikmin 3, that thing was pretty friggin' creepy too. Not, not like vi visually creepy, just the persistence of it. I don't know if you've played Pikmin 3. But like the, the determination in that enemy was, it, I think about it every now and then. Like, that thing was that thing was kind of creepy too. All right, I have two luminals here. Oh great! Hey, new blood, can you hear me? About tonight's location, you should find two luminals. Well, that's exciting because if you protect them until morning, we can harvest two glow saps. Nice. I have to protect them both. 
My hypothesis is that the two luminals are connected underground. And what does that mean? Well, if one breaks, neither will release gl glow sap. There's only one of you, so this might be a good time to take advantage of Ochi's protection skills. Okay. Pikmin by itself is spooky in its difficulty. I can see that. Alright, since these two luminals are so close to each other, I don't think I need to, to send Ochi. Like, off on his own. I have enough glow Pikmin. Never. I liked Pikmin 2. I think Pikmin 2 might be my favorite game in the franchise. Hi there, friendo. I think I'm going to take the time to use mines. Alright, there's something over there that's angry and I'm heading for it. Let's hope that that's enough to deal with that. I don't see any enemies over there. I just see these guys. Got those two guys coming across. I don't see anybody else at the moment. Of course, I don't know if there is a like uh, a visual somewhere that shows me how many aggressive enemies are left. Leave the Tricknoll alone. I see another snail little guy over there. I'm trying to think. I don't think Luigi's Mansion was ever really, like, particularly scary to me. I'm just constantly throwing. <laughs> I have so many glow pigmen, man. Easy peasy. I'm impressed you defeated all those creatures. I wasn't even sure you'd survive the night. Well, I, I don't know why you have so little faith in me. Okay. We did it. All right, I'm, I'm supposed to get two, right? I was promised two. I was hoping to see two globules shoot out, not just the same animation, and then they tell me I get to. It's the child version of Spooky. Yeah. Metroid can be spooky as well. I haven't played Dread yet. I should play Dread. Pokemon has its... It's moments of being scary. Not too many of them, though. I don't know. I think part of the horror in Nintendo games anyway is the fact that everything seems so clean on the surface. And it, for the most part, it is. It's all mo like bright colors, family friendly, like feel good kind of thing. 
So when they do throw something scary in there, it is, uh, like more jarring. Nice job with the night expeditions. Oof, it was a rough, it was rough out there this time. I think it was easier this time than the last time. I don't get it. Why do luminals always, well, glow like that? If they didn't light up, they wouldn't attract so many creatures. Mm-hmm. Well, perhaps the luminals want to draw the creatures towards them. What? What if they get hurt? They can't make glow sap, or am I missing something here? Well, on this world and others, there are creatures who simply don't grow, don't thrive if they don't experience danger. No matter how strange that sounds, it's quite possible luminals are like that. They need to experience danger to thrive. Um, I guess that makes sense. Not really. Not, not to me, but... It, the closest parallel I can think of is weightlifting, like like muscle building. If you want to build muscle, you have to literally tear the muscles that you have down, break them so that they heal and come back and they're a bit tougher than they were before you tore them down. Not exactly a one-to-one -one parallel of what they're going for, but close enough for me. Alright, let's see what's in the lab. Um, I have 200 materials. Let's keep, let's try and keep Ochi pre, pre -sit, set. Let's call my, all my Pikmin. I don't know, I'd rather call them to me. Alright, we'll call that. All right, we got some exploring to do. Hello? All right, we are heading to the Serene Shores. First time. Imagine I go here and like instantly find a blue onion. Because it feels like there's going to be water here. And I went through all the trouble of finding and then collecting the blue onion in the first level. How much you want to bet there's a blue onion found within the first half of the day here? I'm pretty sure I disabled motion, motion controls. I don't think the controller dragging can be blamed on motion controls as much as I'd like to blame it. New area. You're right. I, lo I love that emote. It's so cute to me. I forget what the deal is with the, the white bulb orbs. I think they have long, like, anteater tongues. Uh, I love water. <laughs> Just aesthetically, I'm a sucker for water. Alright, that looks like a a water strider, but it looks specifically like a Pokemon that look like looks like a water strider. Alright, I can have 20 of each. We got these guys. Alright. I need more blues, so we'll focus on blues for now. Let me wait until that turns blue. Don't turn a color until you break. Thank you. Okay. So those guys are doing great. Looks like there's something under the water here, but it doesn't look like anything I can interact with. Okay, right, what's what's the deal with you? Nothing, I guess. Ah! Nope. I I need my blues. <laughs> just just chucking uh chucking blue Pikmin to their deaths. 
They're not blue Pikmin, yellow Pikmin? I don't know. Hey, look, it's o it's Olimar. So if I want to walk under the water, do I have to get off of Ochi then? Can Ochi not go under the water with me? What's up, Olimar? Who you taking this time? I've noticed that. I, I think so. But I feel like one time they did, it did change on me. I might have been imagining things, but I feel like one time I saw it do, and so now I'm suspicious of it. I, I've also thought, I'm like, okay, it doesn't seem like it changes color. Is it the pilot? Probably, because they keep mentioning that Olimar probably has the pilot, so that's probably the pilot. Well, this is no joke. They could be turned into a leafling. What are you waiting for? Hurry up and save them. I'm waiting until the end of the day, because that's when I do caves. I explore by day, and, and cave by night, so you can wait. Alright, they're gonna go build the bridge, and we're gonna work on taking this wall down. Wall down. There was a path over there as well to explore. Looks like this area is pretty small, so we can get through this quickly. Well, that guy dies very easily. Ma'am. All right. Give me blue. Well, this guy came out of the water. Big mistake on his part. Is that a little Statue of Liberty over there? <laughs> Alright. Hello there. I think it doesn't matter because I think they can take it, uh, take these down. Yeah. So that works. So there's a plant over there that needs to be pulled to open up that path. So I only have one path to go now. Come on, friends. Okay. Let's see what's over here. Okay, so I need Ice Pikmin to get that. It's different in a cool way. I guess we'll find out. Wah! Okay, what is this in the middle? I don't know what to do about the Pikmin that are... Oh, I can pop them. I see. Alright, guys, don't get run over by the rocks, please. That's sketchy. Where are these rocks coming from? Something throwing or spitting them? Nope, I need water. Okay, that guy's got to be the one that's causing the boulders. Yep. Okay. Where 
Where is he? No, he flattened a few of them. Okay. Oh. What are you? Do you you don't give you don't have like monster journals, do you? I don't think so. 